Welcome back to Consumer Lab. We're going to talk about today the DJI official, that's right, DJI official event happening September 19th of 2024. That is next week. And we're going to talk about a little bit on that iPhone Apple products. Real quick on that one. But first, let's talk about that DJI. Let's get this straight. I'm going to talk about this real quick. There's so many clickbaits out there, so much nonsense out there that I just want to call it for what it is. All these YouTube channels and all this bunch of nonsense, they kept saying, oh, the, the Mini 4, uh, you know, Mini, uh, the Mini 5, sorry, Pro is coming out and blah, blah, blah. It's going to have this sense of that. They have no idea what's going to come out, right? And why I'm bringing this up? Because I was looking for the buy the Mini for um, Pro, you know, DJI. And I'm looking around, get some information, like, wow, it looks pretty good. Nice, man. Y'all, it looks really good. I mean, you know, nice camera, all this 360 degree sensors and all this stuff. You know, I don't have a drone. So I was like, why not go get one? I had one before, but, you know, technology has improved since then. So I'm like, why not? And I built drones too, so. But why not have one ready-made, perfect software? Why not? But I go to these websites, and they kept saying, the Mini 5 is coming out. The Mini 5 Pro is coming out. So I'm like, yo, maybe I should hold up. Slow down. Let me wait a little bit. I'm moving too fast. <laughs> too fast. I said, let me chill. Look, let's go check this out. And guess what I do? I slow my pace down. But then I go on these websites, and they got all this artificial intelligence, AI, trying to mimic a person. And, and it sounds so robotic. It's like, and we gonna announce the pro Like, what in the world is that? That's a bunch of nonsense. And then they give you this clickbait. You go on the website, and they regurgitate things that Uncle Sam said in the 1940s. And they regurgitate over and over and over like a dirty pair of underwears that haven't been washed in five years. I'm like, what are we doing? This is what we're doing. We can't do this. But see, today... I'm going to tell you today, which is official, which is for a fact, and it's not a clickbait. I got received the email, and by the way, I looked on their website. It's also on their website. They got an official announcement that September 19th, which is next week, 2024, they're going to announce something called ProRes. Now, hold up. ProRes. By the way, you go check the website. This ain't clickbait. And I'm like, okay, ProRes. Now, ProRes could be so many things. It could be maybe they come out with a new camera. Maybe it could be, maybe it could be some upgrade to the drones. You know, everybody been talking about the Mini 5 Pro having a one-inch sensor. I mean, it could be, I mean, it could be so many different things. But one thing we do know, which is not clickbait, and based on their own information, based on the email I got, and based on what's now on their website, they say, listen, we're going to come out with something. You just don't know about it. It's called, and it's an announcement, the event is called, like I said before, it's called ProRes. That's many things. I'm hoping, I can only hope, I'm going to tell you the rumors. I'm going to tell you what I hope. I hope that is the Mini 5 Pro and to all of their Pro models because it did say ProRes. So if we look at that wording, the way they word, they say Pro. Res, which means it ain't none of the, the base mini. It's not going to be the, the mini 3, the mini 4K, none of those. Not the Neo, none of those. It's going to be the Pro Edition, which means it's going to be their enchilant editions of all whatever cameras they got, whatever they're going to come out with, which is a good thing because I'm looking for something where I could fly some drones around. I got a wedding coming up. I want to take some shots, you know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how it is. You get a wedding. I look at some of the wedding prices for drones. They want to charge like six, seven hundred dollars, man. Fifty, about sixty dollars, something like that, per hour. And someone get a flat rate. It's just, it's crazy. I get my own drone, DJI Mini Pro Four or Five, whatever. It's in November. I got time. I go get it. Why not? Right. So, all this is to say this: we can't. I get. Can we stop with the clickbait? Can we just stop with the clickbait? Can we just Cut that out. And stop saying, oh, yeah, the Mini 5 with Pro is going to the one your sensor is going to have more durable time, and you're going to have an AI voice that sounds so robotic. No, you need someone to conversate like we're conversating now. That's what you need. All right, so that event is taking place next week, September 19th. It's the DJI. It's called the ProRes. You can go look it up yourself. It's, they announced it on, they sent uh, people through their emails. And they also placed it on their website. So go check that out. 
Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe in there and then get the news right away. By the way, this is Consumer Lab. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. The next thing I want to talk about is this. The app, of course. Now, this here is the Apple iPhone Pro Max. One terabyte. Yes, you heard me right. One terabytes. You got that right. I need the space. Stop with the 512. I got the one terabyte. It's a big space. It's bigger than some people's laptops. <laughs> I got that, but I take a lot of videos and stuff like that, and you know, for the channels and different uh, uh, events I do and stuff like that. So you need that storage, especially if you're recording in a 4K. So let's talk about this this memory size and the phone. Just give you an idea. Now, I'm not gonna go over the specs, right? Because that's a waste of your time and my time. Why? Because you can even go, you can easily go on Apple website and you get the most accurate information. You know why it's gonna be most accurate? Because it's coming from them. <laughs> Duh. All right, that's it. So it's going to tell you about the 48 megapixel cameras. They got two 48 megapixel cameras, sorry, right? And they got the regular one that's the 12. So it's three cameras on the max, two are 48, and one is 12. Good. Sounds great. They got better uh, mics. They got four mics, studio type mics. I like that. I need that. I like to do that. Why not? It just makes sense, right? And of course, you know, the screen got a little bit bigger. The battery life is better than the 15 Pro Max, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. So I like that. So there's a lot of good, a lot of positives to that. Now, why? Now, you may say, why upgrade? Is it really necessary to upgrade if that is your quest? By the way, this is only about the 15 Pro Max. I don't really, I never bought the lower edition uh, phones. I, know, I never dive into the regular 16s. And no, I just, I, don't want to deal with that. I need those professional phones, the one with the most advanced features. Not just me. Everybody got their own preferences. But you get that phone, you never have to worry about nothing again. Um, with that being said, I'm going to upgrade from 15 Pro Max, 1 Tera, to 16 Pro Max, 1 Terabyte. And the reason why is because of the upgrades to me is significant. It just is significant. The number one thing is that battery. That battery life is like four hours more on top of what it was already. That is... Perfect. I also like the 248 meg megapixel cameras, which means I get the micros, micro shots better. I'm sorry, macro shots. I get them much more closer. I like using that. I got that 4K, 120 frames per second, which is astronomical. Think about this. You watching butterflies, wings flapping, and you see them flapping a little bit slower. And it's all in 4K resolution. Imagine that. Excellent. By the way, the lens size is almost, the sensor, I should say, is almost one inch. Almost, not one inch, I said almost, so it's cut the nonsense, right? But nevertheless, excellent, excellent. So I, I like those features, I like that. Because a lot of times, I like to, you know, you're out, you're about, you're not gonna carry a Sony Alpha camera with you wherever you go. I mean, it's, it's not gonna do it, why? It's expensive. My, the camera is like three, you know, about three, I pay about what? Three, four, four, five, four, five, five, whatever it is. Cost quite a bit, a couple of thousands. But that's just the body. Then you gotta buy the lens. The lens itself for a Sony camera is, you know, for any camera, any uh, any SLR camera is very expensive. You know what I'm saying? So the the body, the lens, it's just it's, it's a lot, right? So you don't want that. But if I got my phone, voila, I can go ahead and do my film and all that. Now, with that being said. They demonstrated some of the features on the phone. You can go watch that on the Apple website again. You can watch some of the events that they had. No biggie. Great phone. I'm going to upgrade. Should everybody do it? Maybe not. Depends on what you're doing. But I guarantee you, if you got a 15 Pro Max, more than likely you're probably looking to do great video and recordings anyway. So do they got any discounts? Let's talk about the money aspect of getting that 15, uh, 15 Pro Max to that 16 Pro Max. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you got the 15 Pro Max, that's what I have here. They don't care how much terabytes you got. This is what I don't like. They don't care how much terabytes you have on it. It could be 256, could be one terabyte, 512. They don't care, you're only getting 650 for it. <laughs> that, I kid you not. Doesn't matter how big of the size memories in there. It's all about just the phone. So you're only gonna get 650. So I'm only gonna get $650 uh, the dose from my phone, from the um, my new phone, 16 Pro Max. By the way, I will be receiving that on September 20th, next week. Again, no matter what you order 
on Apple website. I'm talking about the new stuff, the new iPhones, the new uh, AirPods, AirPods, sorry. You're going to get that September 20th. Doesn't matter who you are. But with that being said, with that being said, I think it's worth it. One more thing I'm going to say, guys, before I get out of here. Um, Consumer Lab, subscribe, guys. We don't believe in doing clickbait. We give you the facts. With that being said, I do want to talk about this watch. This here, and I mentioned this in my previous videos. This watch. This is the Ultra Watch. And I just want to nail something down here. For those of you that think to yourself, I'm going to wait until, by the way, I do want to mention something real quick. The Apple Watch, do you know they, in a law, they have a lawsuit? And that lawsuit is scheduled to uh, reappear in November. I believe November 5th, somewhere in November 5th to 19th, something like that. I'm not certain about the date. But within November, Apple is going to face their lawsuit with uh, muscle about, I might pronounce that wrong, but nevertheless, the, the fact of the matter is that they're saying, a company uh, is saying that Apple's still in their technology. Mm, I don't know, but that's what they're saying, right? You can look at my past video, I'll talk about that more. But nevertheless, they got this lawsuit going on. Now, what can happen in November? We don't know. But one thing I'm going to tell you is this. If Apple wins that lawsuit, of course they're going to go back and add the ox sensor to the watches. That's a given. But what's never going to materialize in the most efficient manner, and listen to, his clap, listen to what I'm saying very carefully, is people's hopes and dreams for a glucose monitor. It's just not going to be what you think it's going to be. It will never be what you think it's going to be. And I'm just telling this for facts. Because anybody that truly understand how a glucose monitor works will understand as well that the technology to make that happen, the way that happens, cannot be done through just a watch alone using various light waves to order to determine what the glucose level is. It's just not going to work. It's just not. There's a chemistry behind this. And these watches, these watches are do not, it's not capable, will never be capable of able to analyze that without having to prick through your skin and take a blood sample. That is just fact. That's not my opinion. That's fact. You're never going to have that. Now, can you have something that can give you some idea of where your glucose level may be? That might be possible, but would you ever rely on it? The answer is no. Absolutely no. All right, this is Consumer Lab Guys. Subscribe, leave a comment below. Listen, we're going to be back. We're going to be back with the new iPhone uh, 16 Pro Max. When we get it, we'll talk about that more. Uh, once again, I use my human AI pen all the time to help me do some of my research and find out different things. It's a great product. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just telling you the facts. With that being said, you know what? Subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll talk.